Today we're going to address one of the most common questions we encounter in our tech support operations. That question is, can I simulate an output from my flow meter to check the response of my PLC? The answer is, yes you can. When you take a 4 to 20 milliamp output from your flow meter to your SCADA, PLC, or even a chart recorder if you're old school, the remote device must associate the current to a pre-configured flow range. For example, your PLC determines 4 milliamps to be zero flow, while 20 milliamps corresponds to a predetermined maximum rate, such as 100 gallons per minute. The first step is to ensure the flow meter span is configured to match the PLC. This means you must program a flow range into the flow meter that corresponds to the configuration of your receiving device. This is a simple process. Legacy 1010 or FST020 meters access the Span Set Cal menu section. Press the right arrow to select span data and the right arrow again to access the min and max flow rate units. The first thing you'll see is max flow in your chosen volume units, followed by min flow which by default is pre-configured to zero. In our example, we want a flow range of zero to 100 gallons a minute. So we simply access the max flow value by pressing the right arrow, typing in 100, and pressing enter. Make sure you're entering the flow value in the units shown, including any multiplier if present. Your span is now set. If we want to simulate an output, we can do so now. Exit the span menu by pressing the left arrow twice to return to the main menu. Then press the down arrow to scroll down to diagnostic data. From here, pressing the right arrow will take you into diagnostics and the first selection is flow data. Press the right arrow to select the flow data menu. If you're using a dual beam meter, be sure path 1 and 2 are selected prior to choosing flow data. Once in the flow data section, press the down arrow to access the parameter ANCAL. Press the right arrow and key in the flow rate you wish to simulate. I think I'll use half scale, so I'll enter 50 from the numeric keypad Press enter and your output will now exhibit your chosen flow rate so long as you stay at this menu cell. You may also notice that the letter code M appeared in the alarm status section. This is to indicate that this flow reading is coming from a system generated value rather than an actual flow measurement. If I check my milliamp meter, I can see the meter is now outputting 12 milliamps or half scale, just as I'm simulating from the flow meter. And my PLC is following suit, also showing a half scale reading. From here, if I wanted to, I could change the ANCAL setting to simulate other flow outputs. For example, if I wanted to now show three quarter scale, I can plug in a 75 GPM and the PLC will respond appropriately. Once you exit the ANCAL menu cell, the function is switched off automatically. The current output then returns to four milliamps, if you're at zero flow. These procedures will enable you to verify proper operation of your flow meter outputs and proper interpretation by your data acquisition system. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for your attention and be sure to look for other clips in this series. Bye for now.